Vincent Winter is back! <laughs> Welcome back to Every Disney Movie Ever. My name is Jess, and I'm attempting to watch every Disney movie ever. Today, I'm gonna talk about The Horse Without a Head. Vincent Winter is back, and I had no idea he was in another Disney movie, and I got so excited. These shady adults are planning a train robbery, and of course, Somehow the kids get mixed up in it. Marion has an awesome way with dogs. Ferdinand is their leader. They're all on the poor side, so the best toy they have is the horse without a head. The shady guy hides a key in the horse without a head, and the kids find the key, and they realize the key is to a place where all the money is hidden. The inspector is amazing. He's such a good guy to these kids. 12-year-old me would have had a major crush on Vincent Winter. I really enjoyed this movie. I thought the lighting was great. The acting was great. I have a special place in my heart for Vincent Winter. My best friend Brie asked me why Sean Scully didn't return in this film, and I said because Disney knew they were too gay. Almost Angels is still the best. I really liked The Horse Without a Head. I was invested. I thought the story was well written. I was entertained. I really liked it. I may be a little biased because I like Vincent Winter a lot, but I was entertained. I say, watch it. I'm gonna give it nine headless horses out of ten. Our total movie count is... Parent, Death Toll, and Crack Count are still the same. If you want to keep up with what movie I'm watching when, follow me on Instagram or Twitter and you'll find out what movie I'm watching when. I put out videos every Monday and Friday. Until next time, comment, like, and subscribe, but I'm not in charge of life, you are, so you do you, and don't be rubalt about it. That guy, just don't be him, okay? <laughs>